In this video, we'll take a look at the brand new 1000 watt power tool battery inverter from MillerTech. The 600 watt power tool battery inverter has been one of MillerTech's best sellers online. There isn't anything like it on the market, at least not at a $200 price point. But I've gotten a thousand emails and comments asking if there was a bigger model. Well, we heard you loud and clear. I gave that feedback to MillerTech along with my own personal suggestions, and they came up with this 1000 watt three socket model that's now finally available. This inverter comes in two versions, just like the 600 watt model. One version accepts Milwaukee and DeWalt 18 or 20 volt batteries, and the other version accepts Makita 18 volt batteries. Both versions have three sockets installed on top and are wired in parallel to draw power equally from each socket. Now it is rated for 1000 watt continuous output, but let me be very clear about that rating. The inverter can handle 1000 watts all day long, but your batteries will not be able to do that. Power tool batteries are not designed to output that many amps for that long. So it might be more appropriate to consider this like a 600 watt inverter with three sockets and a much higher surge capacity. You'll see what I mean later on in the video during the testing. On one side are two cooling fans and on the other side are the AC outlets and an LED meter that switches between displaying the battery voltage and the AC frequency. It has an on off switch so that you can turn off the power from the batteries because there's about an 8 to 10 watt load on the batteries even when nothing's plugged in. Finally, the only major difference from the 600 watt model is the 1000 watt version does not have a USB port. There are removable fuses inside the case and it comes with several spares in case you blow one. It's covered by a one year full warranty from MillerTech. Okay, so before you think this is just a commercial, let's do some real world testing. One of the devices that the 600 watt unit has trouble with is a heat gun. So let's see if this inverter can run a heat gun even on a little bit lower setting. I tried this with just a single battery and all three batteries installed and it didn't change. The heat gun could run on low at about 600 watts for an extended period of time with no issues. I was able to run the heat gun on high with three batteries installed and it didn't complain, even at 1200 watts for short periods of time. Now obviously you can't do this very long, but the 600 watt model wouldn't run a heat gun at all, so this is good news. Next, let's test something that draws a huge amount of current briefly, an air conditioner. This unit is rated for 6000 BTUs and should pull at least 12 to 1500 watts for a split second. But I've tested a lot of 1000 watt inverters in the past and most can't handle an inductive load from a compressor motor like this very well. With three freshly charged batteries, two of which are high output versions, I fired it up and let it run. The compressor motor kicked on after a few minutes and the inverter didn't complain at all. And the voltage of the batteries didn't sag to the point of setting off the alarm, even letting it run for at least five minutes. Now, keep in mind, an air conditioner would be silly to try to run on this inverter. These batteries don't have enough capacity to do it very long. But this is a good test of the capabilities of the inverter. I also tried the inverter with a larger air conditioner. This unit is a 10,000 BTU model. So I freshly charged up the batteries and tried it out. However, it didn't work as this one can pull 1800 to 2000 watts or more for a split second. Now, I don't know if that was a limitation of the batteries or the inverter, but it really doesn't matter. The functional limit of momentary surge current on this inverter is gonna be roughly 1500 watts either way. After putting the inverter through even more tests off camera, I can safely tell you this thing is a workhorse. Does it have the fit and finish and polish of a genuine DeWalt or Makita product? No, but it costs pennies on the dollar in comparison. It's meant to be a high value product with a low cost and good performance, but MillerTech doesn't cut corners on their products either. They have one of the best warranties in the business and being an Amish company, they sell primarily to the Amish community in the Midwest. And I can tell you, those people use the heck out of these products and don't tolerate cheap junk. But remember, this inverter is only going to be as good as the power tool batteries that give it power. 
If you're interested in picking up one of these inverters, go to my web store at store.ldsreliance.com. It's a steal at about $300 with free shipping. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful or interesting, leave a comment and a like below.